<clears throat> Hello, my name is Caden. This is Castle Tulage, your home defense network. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Still can't get rid of this cough, and I apologize for it being in videos. Um, I actually engaged one of these um, anti-constitutionalist uh, people who believe that uh, citizens shouldn't have guns. <coughs> I generally won't engage them, but this guy um, had a rough attitude, and um, I tried to look uh, for his comments, and it's gone. Him, his comments, and his uh, channel um, is no longer there. So it, it is what it is, okay? <coughs> the the things you know, there's been some recent videos out there about what you should tell anti-gunners. And again, for me, they're not anti-gun, gun grabbers. They are um, anti-constitutionalists. Um, and you got to really paint them that in that fashion. That uh, um, gun grabbers just means that uh, um, it doesn't really encapsulate in what they really want to do, and that is you know to control you to to uh, bend you to their their value system, etc. And I want to go over a few things that uh, you go you, you go after them. And I uh, I'm going to be making another video of the top five arguments that uh, anti-constitutionalists go after you with uh, the gun debate, the gun control debate. And um, I'm going to go uh, over that. But what I want to talk to you really is people who want to talk to these people because they say guns are cool or because they love guns. <laughs> um, how well do you think that argument is going to fly over an anti-constitutionalist? Uh, especially someone who wants to shred the Second Amendment. Oh, because I love guns, and uh, they're fun, and they're cool. Uh, um, it, it drives me absolutely insane. <clears throat> Basically, what you want to do is not talk about statistics. They have their statistics, we have our statistics, and only liars and lawyers use statistics because statistics can bend to be warped and shaped in, in any old fashion that you want. And really what a statistic is, it is a very myopic view of the entire debate. The debate isn't, should we have guns? The debate is, do we have natural law of protection and how we choose to defend ourselves with that protection. When people start asking you questions, you lost the debate. You lost the debate. You need to start turning those questions around up to them. Um, uh, why do you need a gun? Well, the question isn't why do I need a gun. The real question is why are why do you want to uh, ban me from having a gun? Okay, that's the real question. Um, another one is, uh, why do you have so many guns? Well, don't answer that. <coughs> why do you need to restrict me from the number I have? And if you're going to restrict me, what's the number? What number should it be? Should it be three? Should it be seven? Should it be five? What arbitrary number are you going to apply to me and take control of my life? Again, when you're dealing with natural law, every living thing, even plants, have um, a way to protect themselves. And this gun, it's only a tool, and uh, yeah, I'll get into that right now. They want, to, they want to demify the gun. They do not want to look at human behavior as the actual cause, okay? There is no evil within an animate object, okay? It is a tool only. It is a, like a hammer, what I go to. It's like a seatbelt, okay? Um, it's just a tool, a hammer, whatever. There is no added thing to, uh, to it, and, and they will keep on coming after you, all right? They're going to be using, and I'm going to be using another video in it, but they're going to try to demagogue you, okay? And you need to call them out on that. You're saying to the fact that, um, this isn't a valid argument, it is a fallacy, and demonizing me isn't, you know, making your argument stronger, and in fact, it's making your argument weaker when you are trying to project your own fears on me, 
All right. I uh, there was one question that he gave me, and I actually answered it, and I and I didn't say anything afterwards. And one of his questions was, "Why do you have a God?" And typically, I would turn that question on again, like I said before. Why shouldn't I have a gun? Why should you ban me from having a gun? What I did is I actually answered it, and it's the first time I ever used this, and he was off his seminar points, uh, um, positions. His Bloomberg seminar didn't, wouldn't allow him to compute this. So why do you have a gun? I told him the same reason I have car insurance, and I didn't say a word until he came across. <sighs> Guns are insurance, okay? He came back, well, if you have a car, you're required by law to have a gun. I mean, <laughs> to have car insurance. And I said, that particular part is true, but even if, I, if the state didn't tell me that I have to have car insurance, I would have car insurance. And then I said, I have health insurance too, and that is a responsibility, right? So, and he doesn't really understand that. And when you're dealing with these people, you're only, the, the best thing that you can do is plant a seed of other people who are reading the comments. Maybe down the road, again, when you're dealing with these type of people, they're generally single. They generally do not have children. Um, you know, <clears throat> they generally don't have responsibilities like that. So their life position isn't of that. It is funny that liberal women who will go and get married and have children, half of those turn conservative. I wonder why. Same thing when it comes to choices with the gun and self-defense. Guns aren't evil. People are evil. So when you're trying to win, when you're trying to win an argument, and again, you're not going to win this argument. The best you can do is plant seeds. They're not going to have a sudden epiphany. Oh yeah, when you say it this way, because guns are cool. Oh, I've been wrong my entire life. Or uh, guns are fun. Oh, you know something. That makes sense, you know. You know, I, I when you come across these videos all the time, it, it's it's just it's just insane when you're trying to convince these people guns are cool and guns are fun, and that's why we should have the Second Amendment. No, natural law is king. <sighs> natural law is king. The writings of uh, 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 Hugo Auguste Augustus and uh, someone else I can't remember right now, where they are talking about self-defense issues, when they are talking about natural law, those are the key elements of the Second Amendment, of what a free person really is, and that's the ability to defend themselves. All right, These are just general guidelines when you're dealing with these type of people. Again, I will have another uh, video coming soon, and it's going, we're going to talk about the five main arguments that these people come with. And it's all a fallacy. Every single point that they come up with or they attack you is a fallacy. I'm going to show you those, are, those kind of arguments. And uh, you're going to get them back on track. Instead of having a, a straw man, red herring, Aunt Sally kind of a defense, this is something that you can engage them on. Again, not for them but planting the seed for people who read the comments or maybe seeds in the future for them. My name is Caden. This is Castle Tula, your home defense network. I hope this helped.